Hi, and welcome back to Bedecked. I am the author stylist, Rebecca and Brian, but you can call me Beck. Today is the culmination of my month-long series of Beck-themed episodes. Some of my favorite things we are featuring in the month of February because it is my birthday month. So I am wearing a beret we got for my birthday and I was wearing a striped shirt. I had a whole French theme going on, but then I kind of wanted something more in the fantasy ice realm kind of-esque. So I put this sweater on over top with kind of like a leather detail. Um, to kind of look like I was ready to go hop on a horse and enter a battle or something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> a little update. I am getting closer to figuring out my audio situation. I am not using any microphone right now um, because I realized I have the wrong adapter. I think that's happened to me. <laughs> and I keep switching things up and then I don't have the right adapter. So I am buying yet another adapter. I'm going to show you. Here's one adapter. That was not the right one. Here's another adapter that I'm using for my setup. That wasn't the right one either. So I'm buying yet another adapter. Anyway, I will get this figured out. But um, hopefully the sound isn't too bad. I can hear my seven-year-old upstairs. Hopefully you can't. Uh, I am back here because I am doing another online shopping episode. Actually, this is going to be kind of a hybrid episode. I started at the mall kind of looking for stuff. Didn't find much. So I'm going to kind of show you what I found at the mall, build on that, and then try to find some more affordable options too. I will... I do have some things in the background that I'm going to talk about that are related to the topic today. So for the last week of my favorite things episode, I wanted to feature a book by one of my writer friends. One of my favorite things, something that brings me joy is my writing tribe, especially my local one. I love going to someone's house drinking a bottle of wine, writing, and laughing together. A lot of times we don't get much done, but the community is so valuable, and I love having this support system of women around me. I'm going to feature a book, a new release by one of my best writing friends. Um, she's a local writer, Melinda Andrews. This book is called A Change of Winds and Seasons, and it is from her second fantasy trilogy. This is called the Descendants Trilogy, and it is a continuation of the Incalescent Trilogy. So it is the Descendants of the first series. Let me explain the things I have in the background here. I have, I'm going to go grab them. I'm like, okay, so I'm in the basement. Uh, our wine fridge is right there. And I'm like, we have to have something dragon related in the fridge somewhere. I was right. So we have the Dragon's Milk Reserve from New Holland Brewing in uh, Michigan. I'm featuring their beers today because they release a new Dragon's Milk. I don't know if it's yearly or seasonally, but I love trying their different. These are stouts. I love trying their different stouts that they release. This is a bourbon barrel stout with cherry chocolate. And this is a really good one, too. It's a rum barrel aged stout with chocolate, hazelnut, and toasted coconut. So they're all their stouts, their dragon's milk. Even the dragon's milk base is, is amazing, but I really like stouts that taste like desserts. So, and then I just thought this was a cool looking mead. And I thought mead was really appropriate for pretty much any fantasy book. I don't think I'm going to do a featured drink every time, but here we are. By the way, I have my kids like horse thing here too. That was kind of intentional. It was in the background. I'm like, I'm going to leave it. I know Melinda likes horses. There's horses in this book. There were horses featured hev heavily in the first part of the trilogy or in the first, her first fantasy trilogy. So the horse can stay. These books are about dragons and riders, the riders of these dragons. And the thing I like about these books is first of all, Melinda's great about writing strong female characters. Um, so I want to find, we're definitely going to create like a really strong kick-ass woman today. And we are going to create a woman 
um, that can ride, <laughs> that's ready to ride on a dragon. So she's going to have probably leather on. She's going to be ready for battle. We might work in some armor. Melinda's fantasy novels are always very epic in scope. Um, there's always some sort of a journey and lots of great battle scenes. I especially love the ending of this one because it really makes you want to read more. She opens a lot up for a really interesting rest of the series. So Melinda, write the next couple books fast because people are going to want more content once they finish this one. So let me just dig into it. Um, like I said, I tried to start this shopping trip at uh, my local mall. Uh, for the locals, it's Bayshore Mall. A lot of stores, like many malls, a lot of stores have closed over the years. There's not, honestly, a whole lot there any more. So I did hit a couple stores. I found a little bit of inspiration that we're going to start with, but otherwise I'm just going to finish up online and see what we can come up with. So I won't be trying on clothes today, but I know Melinda has an event coming up, so maybe we can find a piece or two that she will wear to her event, which by the way is the Lakefly Writers Conference in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and it is the first weekend of May. So if you are a local and if you are a writer, definitely check that conference out. Melinda will be speaking. She will have a table. You can buy this book. Maybe you can wear this whole outfit and be a fan when you show up. Just show up as like dressed as um, Justice Riley or Yanara and just blow Melinda's mind. How fun would that be? Or Melinda, you can take some of these <laughs> suggestions when you're picking out your conference outfits. So let's see. Here's where I started at Everev. I found this strong shoulder sweater, which might be a possibility, and then I found this cute cutout top, which I liked. I'll uh, show you that later via link. Um, there were a couple kind of armor, jacket, vest options, but nothing that thrilled me. There were some good boot options, though. I especially liked the taller boots, if we're going to be riding on a dragon. Then we definitely wanted to do a linen shirt. This was a nice option. Now, Everev does run a little more expensive. There are boutique prices, so I wanted to try something more affordable, also like H&M. I really thought I would find a lot of good uh, faux leather options at H&M, but I wasn't too successful in that arena. Yep, now you get to see. <laughs> I was wearing my faux leather leggings for this, um, for this outing. The favorite thing I found at H&M was probably this vest. I mention it later in the video, but it was just kind of a cute tunic sweater vest that just tied on the side. I think that had some potential. The suede jacket is another one I mentioned in the video. Um, it's kind of cloak-esque. Another blouse that would work. I like the idea of a tie instead of the traditional collar. So while I did find some potential okay options as I was shopping at the mall, let's see what we can find when we actually go online. Okay, so here we are on Melinda's sales page. Let's just take a look at the cover before so we can get some inspiration. So this is Ilya on the cover. Excuse me, sir, I wanted to see the cover with her lion companion. So there's going to be some linen as the kind of under, the kind of base layer. And then we want to find like um, maybe like a cloak or today's modern equivalent of a cloak. I did find a suede jacket at H&M when I was searching around the mall. So we'll pull that up. That could be kind of cool. And then like uh, leathers, maybe vests, something that looks like armor, jackets, and then boots. So that is what we're going to find so we can create our own version of a rider. Indie Rider Chronicles. I think I will try to pull up the couple things I found at Everev. I seriously hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and H&M. Mm, I, I found almost nothing in H&M, but there was this women's suede jacket that could be uh, a possibility. It wasn't 
like that. It was more of a trench coat. Women's suede coat. Were, was I at the same place? Like, are you kidding me right now? A cape. A cape. Kind of reminds me of Star Wars. Um, yeah, maybe. This is kind of fun. I kind of like this. I was a little surprised I couldn't find any. Any. Okay, to be fair, the circle I did was pretty fast. But I couldn't find any of these leather pants in this store. So... I think leather pants are seriously where we're going to go with this. Um, I would like to be somewhat um, price conscious in this final outfit we have. So we're going to be going faux leather and we're going to be going kind of, you know, affordable. Um, what on earth? Ew! Faux leather bike shorts, really? I question this. I do want to tuck it into boots, so I think we are probably going to go with the leather legging situation. So, let's go back to here. Well, I'll try to find some of the stuff I found, but, um, cut out. Yeah, some, okay, so one of the things I, it was this cut out, one that I saw in this store, I think. Either that one or that one. I don't know why I was thinking cutouts for like a fantasy setting, but maybe like during battle they get slashed <laughs> up or whatever. But I thought maybe a cutout would be a kind of fun, cute idea. It's simple, but it adds visual interest too. So I, so I thought some of these, the cold shoulder has kind of been done to death, I feel like, but I think some of these, this could be cute for like, kind of like a, I was in a battle and now my shirt is slashed kind of thing. <laughs> you can find leather leggings at this point pretty much anywhere at any price point, so um, that 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 part's easy. I think we'll probably go the leather leggings route and then tuck it into boots. Where was this? Was it this one? No, I did look at that one for myself, but no, it wasn't that one. It was kind of like an open kind of sweater vest that just tied at the side, kind of like a tunic that tied at the side. It was really cool. I hope I can find it. It was kind of like that, but not maternity, and it tied at the side. That's a fun one. Suit vest. Focus. I did see a pair of boots that might work. We're going to ride on a dragon. I found some really cool slouchy... Um, High brown boots. Might have been those. Oh, I like Vince Camuto. I'm gonna go with those. These make me happy. I would totally... I mean, would you wear a heel that high if you were riding a dragon? I don't see why not. <laughs> I don't see why not. You need a little heel when you're riding anyway. These are really nice, actually, and if they weren't so dang high, I would consider buying these in in real life but yeah these are the boots these are them i don't even need to keep looking <laughs> leather leggings um in one of the scenes one of the characters wears purple uh leather leathers flying leathers i saw like i almost bought a pair of like yeah these wine colored ones those are actually kind of fun i like that idea let's pop those open let's go yeah, I like those. We're going to go with those, maroon colored, um, with the Vince Camuto brown boots. A linen shirt, women's. Maybe the kind without a collar. What was it called? Just say collarless. Yeah, like that. Land said, why not? Sure, this one from Land's End is fine and affordable. I see nothing wrong with that. And it's a tunic, which is nice because we're wearing leggings. So yeah, I like that. I like the idea of that. That would look nice with the boots, but I think we need a really cool completer piece because obviously, um, 
I mean, it's winter now, so you can wear a wool coat. By the time Melinda's event comes around, it's going to be beginning of May, she's not going to want a coat. So we need either like a little jacket or like a cool vest. I think, oh gosh, um, I almost want to check Etsy again. Let's do it. Because I think we have some nice basics that would work, but we need to like cool this up a lot. <clears throat> Armor, vest, Ooh. that's not bad, that's not bad, Etsy's cool for stuff like this, Etsy, seriously Etsy, does Etsy ever do us wrong, I don't think they do, love this, love, 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 how many different colors? Oh my goodness. See, look, it kind of goes with the thing I have here. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. This is it. I think this is it. Uh, she could wear this with like the tunic underneath. Let me just see. Harness. Women's harness. Costume. We don't want to go the lingerie route. Um, yeah, something like that. That's a little more steampunk. Something like that. Um, you could go a lot of different ways with this. I mean, a lot of this is kind of action movie-y or like superhero genre. We want more like, I, I hesitate to put in fantasy because I know what kind of things are going to come up. But, right, we want more in the fantasy genre kind of thing. Ooh, wings. Wings? They aren't really like dragon wings. Maybe I should type in dragon. Dragon. Just keep adding, just keep adding keywords to hopefully get out of the lingerie situation. I should have started with Etsy. You just can't go wrong with Etsy. This is fun. Oh, it's a sewing pattern. That belt would be really fun. I wonder if that belt, ooh, that belt's sick. I wonder if you could put that belt over like, where's the first one I found? Eh, that'd be too much. However, it, you could put this belt over the wool coat That'd be pretty sweet. You could belt a coat. Or you could even belt a cardigan. If you just wanted to be simple, you could belt a cardigan. So that belt I love. But, um, that's pretty cool. Look at that. So yeah, Melinda, go to Etsy. Just do it. That is awesome. She would look hot in this too. It's $200, but it's an investment to your career. <laughs> Seriously, that's really cute. So I kind of love that idea, but <clears throat> I am kind of 100% obsessed with this. So we're going to go with this, um, the leather leggings, the boots, and then um, I may kind of, when I put the whole, the last thing together, I may try to find a couple accessories to bring it more more fashion, less costume, because this vest really brings it into costume territory. So I'm going to try to bring it back with something a little more fashion-y. So we'll see what I come up with in the final thing, which I will put right here. And go buy some dragon's milk from New Holland or some mead from anywhere. Definitely, if you are a fan of fantasy, go check out A Change of Winds and Seasons by Melinda Andrews. And I will see you next time on Bedette. Bye.